The difference in differences is a popular identification strategy in policy threat evaluation. We use this technique to investigate whether a treatment has a significant effect. The difference in differences method can be combined with other regression methods to estimate the causal effects. Let's take a look at the elements of difference in differences. In the standard difference in differences setup, we have two groups of people, the treated group and the control group. The treated group receives some kind of treatment, such as a government policy, a change in medication, or any other intervention of interest. The control group is not exposed to the treatment. We have two time periods. The treatment occurs in between the two time periods. In order to figure out the treatment effect, we compared some outcomes, such as wage or employment, between the treated group and the control group before and after the treatment. It gives us a better understanding of whether the treatment makes a difference. In the regression model of difference in differences, the coefficient beta 3 measures the average treatment effect. For the control group, the difference between after and before the treatment is equal to beta 2. For the treated group, the difference between after and before the treatment is equal to beta 2 plus beta 3. The difference in differences is beta 3. Beta 3 measures the pure effect of the treatment by ruling out other influences experienced by both groups. A crucial assumption for the basic difference in differences model is the parallel trend assumption. We assume that the treated group and the control group are similar in every aspect except that the control group did not receive the treatment. In other words, any trends in the outcome would trend at the same rate in the absence of the treatment. What if the assumption is violated, that is, the groups are not similar. We have some methods to address this problem. We can include other observable control variables in the model. In this framework, the model has one more vector x representing the control variables. The control variables account for the differences in the observable characteristics between the two groups. We hope that after parceling out the effects of these control factors, the residual outcomes satisfy the parallel trend assumption. The results will become more robust and causal in this way. We can also include a time trend in the model to account for the change in the trend. Another method is to use a difference in difference in differences the triple difference method. 